How about that? We got new toys to play with, my friends. But I'm going to stay calm. This is not angry runs. I got the scepter, and there's metal playing. And we got all kinds of cool fonts with electricity and chrome. This is the next angry runs primer. primer. This is just to get ready. This is to get you excited. This is what's to come this season. First of all, I got the new shirt on. You know it. You love it. Thousands of you bought one last year. This is the official Angry Run shirt. Except no substitutes, bots, or knockoffs. Go to my friends at the table. Look how cool they look. Look at Peter. Look over there. Look I've at never Steady. felt cooler. Peter's got the like sweatshirt. This. Akbar's busting out of the T-shirt. Erdahl all day long with ah. the sweatshirt. We're dressed up. It's a sloppy show. There's cameras and cords. We don't care. <laughs> it's a sloppy segment. I also just want to say, if you watch Angry Runs for a while, you know how it goes. Get down here. I, I don't know how a step is going to function in this segment. Are you telling me I'm not going to break my neck with a step involved? I'll try not to. But as I said, I'm going to calm down. The real deal is next Tuesday, as it always is after week one. You know what I have today, though? I got the guys I'm looking at this week, this year, this decade. The guys who I think are most likely to get one of these that we hand out each and every week to the angriest runner in the NFL. It's kind of a watch list. It's kind of a league of angry gentlemen. You wonder who the first guy is? If we do any list on this show ever, any segment ever, we have to hype this guy. Bring him up. Seattle Seahawk, come on. Let's go. Oh, Peter. My guy. Kenneth Walker, the third. We all have our guys. This is not yet my guy. This is currently Peter's guy. Uh -huh. Jamie's giving him some love. Akbar and I will come along. I, ro roll the video. This guy was born and put on this planet to do things like this. We go, Mm. All the way into the end zone. Wow. That is, he is so mean, Look at that. so mad. And doesn't it just kind of feel like he's waited patiently? This is his time to not just be a part of what Seattle's doing, to be a star, right, Peter? Yes, and look at after he scores, he's like a gymnast. He does this amazing little athletic move here. Ah. I love that. <laughs> That's like a Van Damme and kickboxer. <laughs> when he does the, one of those, you know how they do those things? I'm not going to do it because I'll break my back. When they, they go like, hey, yeah, and they yeah. keep all the way up. I used to do it when I was like 13. Walker does it after he runs through like 20 Raiders. And let's not forget, last year, his teammate won a scepter, Zach Charbonnet out of UCLA. So Seattle's angry as hell. Here's a guy we've been rooting for who does not have a scepter. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring up the next guy because we, yeah. Do you know who that is? Brian Robinson from mm. the Commanders. This guy, Peter, Jamie, from Alabama. Alabama. Roll the video, take a look at through the rain. This guy does this. He trucks people. He loves trucking people. You know the backstory. You know what he's been through. Here's the thing. Sometimes I get like, oh, do the, do the players really know about the scepter? These are NFL players. Do you think they care about your little shirt, your little scepter that you do on your little show? Do they care? Want to see an awkward exchange? <laughs> yes, I remember this. See an awkward exchange? Yeah, yeah. Watch Brian Robinson come on a live television segment and take the screws to me Ooh. about why he doesn't have one of these and demand an explanation as I just cower and say nothing. You didn't even show me no love on it, though. You didn't show me no love on it, though. Oh. What's up with that? Keep What's up? What's up with that? Been nominated. Been nominated. Listen, listen. Listen. Yeah. Uh, on, Kyle. You could have just played my I video. You. you didn't even. I ain't even had to come in the top, like top three or four. You could have just played my video or something, just like just to show him, like, hey, this is how you finish Kyle, running right here. You. Fuck. Do I gotta get? Is, is my ratio like? Is my ratio five to one? Do I gotta get? Do I gotta run over five people to to, to one to five get people. to get a scepter? What does he have to do? What does he have to do? Set the standard. <laughs> Set the standard so he knows what he has to do. Yeah. Hey, what, what? Did you we're just, all you tell me. the same thing. Oh, you tell him. Right. We're, we're, let him go. Let him go. Let him cook. We're, we're in the same room right now. You can tell me. You can tell me exactly what you want, what you want to see. Same room right now. <laughs> Do you know the expression, I got time today? <laughs> Do you know that expression? Brian Robinson Jr. had time on that day. He's sitting up there. Not even looking down at the monitor because yep. he's looking at us. He had clearly told, been told, oh, you're going to go on the Good Morning Football. It's a fun show. They love it. It's morning football. Woo! He's like, oh, I got to prep for that. <laughs> because he came with ratios. He came with questions. He came with we're in the same room, even though we weren't. It felt like we were. 
You know what I didn't come with? An answer. Because there isn't one, at least not the one that I can say on the air. But I think this is the year. I really do. He runs really hard. You know this commander's team is going to go through the rookie quarterback. But this guy this weekend, I think, wants this thing better than anybody in the league. I want to give it to you, Ryan. The answer that I should have to all your questions and all your ratios should be here. Take this. You've earned it. That's number four. Now, number three is the best guy going right now, I think. Bring up number three. This, this is the dude. This is the standard. That's Najee Harris. He is massive. Look at the arms. Look at the determination. Brian Robinson Jr. doesn't have one of these. Najee Harris has five of them. Wow. Five. This is the first one we gave him years ago. I think he was a rookie at the time. He wins one like every seven months. He's what he does, and because he does things like this in three, two, oh. holy crap. That's nothing for him. That's him tying his shoes. That is almost a signature move. That is his stone cold stunt, Ooh. his food awakening. Ooh. It's his shake, rattle, and roll neck breaker. He does that getting out of bed in the morning. And you know what else he does? Gets nominated for Angry Runs of the Year at NFL Honors. In fact, wins yes. Angry Run of the Years at NFL Honors. Roll it. And the angry run of the year and the golden scepter goes to my man, Najee Harris. He did it. It's going to Pittsburgh. Let's go, baby. To you, my friend. I crown this man. Give it up for Najee Harris. I love this man. I crown this man. Angry runner of the year. Boom. <laughs> ah, it's so fun. All right. But you know who else was in the auditorium that night? Who? You know who I was sitting directly next to in the auditorium? This next guy, bring up the next guy who was nominated for Angry Run of the Year, but did not win. Oh, look at this. Look at that visual. Look at this Ooh. Michelangelo painting that the Arizona Cardinals did about their running back, James Conner, who did not win that night and who was not afraid to tell me he was disappointed he did not win that night. <laughs> A former Steeler. Give me some Jimmy Conner. Let's go. Give me James Conner. Nobody does a oh. better job with the scepter. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what, my goodness. What was that? And I want everybody to understand, this play is a four-yard loss. Oh. I don't care. It's not about gaining yards. It's about trucking dudes. Look at Con. Don't do it. Oh, Come my on, goodness. Jimmy. James Conner's got three scepters. This is a, a guy, we're seeing these highlights. He's doing that on a 4-13 and 13 team. He doesn't care. It could be 0-17, 17-0. Oh, no. That's Patrick Peterson. As it would turn out, Patrick Peterson was in studio just a few days ago recalling the tale of this wonderful exchange with James Conner. Roll it. Fat Pete, you talk us through this play. Yeah. We, had, we had a lot of fun with it, and you know yeah. this. Yeah, we did on Instagram. We had yes, a lot of fun. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, he threw me out the club, man. <laughs> 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 right out the club and into the person on the sidewalk grilling the hot dogs with pastrami wrapped around them. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's where Patrick Peterson, maybe the greatest corner of the 21st century, went. Guys, we got one more. Mm. The number one on the watch list, the number one who I expect to win the most this year. Do you know who that is? Even you at home, you, you know, you're like, who is that guy in the anger inch with the scepter? It's Jalen Warren for the Pittsburgh Steelers, oh. the hardest runner in the NFL 2023. It really wasn't close. I've already mentioned one Steeler. I've mentioned a former Steeler. This is the hardest running Steeler. Give me some videotape. Jalen Warren is this tiny little ball of muscle, sinew, and hate, and he does the filthiest thing, Whoa. and it's no big deal. He doesn't celebrate. He's like, that's just me playing football. I got to talk to Jalen Warren last year. I said, man, like, how, have you just been trucking guys your whole life since you were a little kid? He's like, yeah, it's weird. Like, high school, college, I would, have, I would juke them. I would run away from them. It wasn't until I got to the pros that I started running guys over. I said, that's not how it works. You're not supposed to get to the NFL and start trucking guys. It's the opposite of that. Jalen Warren with the T-shirt, with the scepter, with my number one spot and most likely to get one of these. I'm going to walk over a la mesa to go, my friends. Guys, how are you? You look good. What do you oh. think of the list? Well, I, I love the list. I mean, first off, the, the James Conner, good friend of mine. I, James Conner is a good friend of yours? Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. And I, I got to say, like, you just brought back so much of seeing that 
I didn't see him rebuking folks. These people are literally rebuking <sighs> demons out of. I mean, my goodness. I've done this segment for seven years. I've never rebuking. used the word rebuke in the segment. I got to start. You're, I need fresh. It's content. a good one. Rebuking <laughs> a great. demon. Great. Hold that That's clip it. of Akbar saying rebuke. That I say the segments. <laughs> I think Who'd I miss? Bring open hand slap into the game as well. Sure. It's a lot of open hand. Big insults. John Stud. Yeah. Can, I, can I make a case for someone that we I saw know last night? Say, I was hoping. Oh, that we saw. All right. I'm glad you said this. Please. Because we're going into the first weekend. Yep. Two of the absolute legends played last night. Not two of them. Derrick Henry, Isaiah Pacheco, Carson Steele. All three Carson played last Steele. night. Uh-oh. And of course, those guys are on my radar. But as we go into weekend one, I left those out. Peter, did you want to add something? I, I was going to say Josh Jacobs is going to be playing tonight. And Josh Jacobs is in a new uniform, and they're playing against the guy. Josh Jacobs, I believe, has not won an angry run. But he runs angry. And we had him on the show earlier this week. Giant chip on his shoulder. I'm predicting a Josh Jacobs angry run championship in week one, a belt for week one, and a scepter going you, to Brazil. Do you think he could have the angry run of the year in week one and go wire to wire? Yes. Oh, All right, you said playing Brazil. in Brazil, New Jersey. Jamie, go ahead. Saquon Barkley. Hello. Now, Saquon, Saquon won Barkley. One of these things about five years ago, and we used to give away a crown, not even a scepter. So Saquon doesn't have one. Josh Jacobs doesn't have one. Pacheco doesn't have one. Bijan Robinson doesn't have one. Guys, only one a week. It's not given, it is earned. Come and get it. Let's go. We'll give it. Let's go. Go and get, get the your, hell out of here. Go and get your shirts too, right, Kyle? You can get yeah. Your shirts. Comments.com. Accept no substitutes. <laughs> hey, those are your top five. Be insulted, and if you are, then go run somebody over in an angry way.